everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today we are not going to be checking out anything from the latest Smugglers Run DLC because today I want to look at this brand new mod. This right here is the new 6 star crew gauntlet custom. Now you might be thinking Lex you only recently did a video on gauntlets, what the hell are you doing another one? Well, uh, well actually that wasn't planned, I didn't really expect this thing to come out, but the one that we looked at previously with the two different custom gauntlets, they were they were not really tunable. They had a couple of different styles and designs, but they weren't really tunable. You couldn't go through and with loads of different body kits and spoilers and exhaust and all that sort of thing. And that's where this one comes along. This is the first real proper tunable custom gauntlet that we've seen in a mod before. And of course this is made by GTA Wise Guy. Uh, the one who's made loads of other really cool cars that we've checked out in the past. So this is going to be a nice, decent, high quality, law friendly, custom gauntlet mod to check out in today's video. But before we do modify this thing, I'm going to make a couple of different versions, see what different styles we can get. There's going to be some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure eight links for my Twitter are in the description below. Okay, so here we are with the six star crew gauntlet custom. And actually what I want to do is I quickly want to spawn in two other versions. I want to spawn in the Hellhound that we checked out in a recent video and also just the standard gauntlet because I just want to see what sort of differences we can see between them. So uh, let me just spawn those in and we can compare all three. Okay, so here we are with the three different gauntlets. On the left, the yellow one is the Hellhound this is the one that we checked out in a very recent video. This is from the Vanilla Works Extended mod. Then in the middle, we have the six star crew gauntlet that we're going to be checking out for the main bulk of this video. And then on the right, we have the stock red gauntlet from GTA 5. So the main differences that we can see between these, well, the arches is probably the main one. On the stock one, it doesn't really have much in the way of arches. This one is just ridiculous. This has absolutely huge, massive arches on it with huge wheels as well. You compare that to the size of the other wheels, this thing has got really just huge wheels on it. And then the Hellhound does have these arches. They are a little bit more coarse. They're a little bit flatter as well. These ones are quite rounded to go with the roundness of the wheels, where these are actually have like a, almost like a flat top on them. Uh, it might also just be because the wheels are actually really small on this one, but uh, these arches definitely look a little bit different compared to this one. These ones are very uh, bulbous is the sort of word I would use to describe that. Very thick and round. On the backs, as you can see, well, there is actually a spoiler on the Hellhound, just a little black scoop, uh, but the rest of that seems to be pretty standard. It's pretty much the same with this one, although this one just doesn't have badges in the middle. And then the stock gauntlet is pretty much just like the Hellhound, but without that spoiler on the back, and it still has all the badge and everything. But all the plates, the exhausts, all of that stuff is pretty much the same as stock. On the sides, the stock one has these little gills, whereas neither of these versions have that. And also this one has a Hellhound badge, whereas this one actually doesn't have anything. And the original one has this 450 CUI turbocharge sticker on it. Looking at the front of these three then, if we just look at the original bonnet, you can see that we have this massive T-shaped bulge, which is the same that you get on the custom gauntlet as well. But the Hellhound actually doesn't have that at all, it just has this massive scoop thing at the front. But again, this doesn't really have anything you can change. You can only have that front, whereas this one does have some different bonnets that we can use. So we'll be checking those out in just a second. This one also does have a different grill thing, whereas this one has the slats compared to the original. Actually, this one is very much like the original, which I, I really quite like because the thing about the Hellhound was it had these differences, but it would have been nice if we had the option to sort of swap between those and the stock in case we didn't like those. But it does have these air vent things in the lights, as you can see here. Also on the bottom end, this one has a little splitter and it's got all the mesh grill and no fog lights. Whereas this one has the number plate, does have the mesh grill, but it does have fog lights, much like the original. So the six star gauntlet custom is very similar to the original version, same bonnet, same everything. The only real difference is the arches, wheel size, and the fact that there are no badges on the rear and on the back panels. On the interiors, they are all pretty much the same. This is the standard gauntlet, as you can see here, moving right. Pretty much exactly the same in this one, and then this one is the same as well. But this one had a Hellhound badge on the steering wheel, and also it had these bars, and you can also take the seat out as well with the optional extras. Uh, but let's just go ahead and start modifying this. So let's just go to vehicle options, menus, customs. Let's just start with the spoiler. So we have the stock 
we have the lip spoiler, which also has the uh, six star crew badge on the right there. Then we have the chopped duck tail, which I do like the look of. I am a big fan of duck tails. Then we have the bulbous, oh, it even has the word bulbous like I used earlier. Bulbous duck tail, which is very similar to the chopped. Ah, see. See, now this is the thing. I like a good duck tail, but this does end where the boot lid ends. Whereas the bulbous one does actually have the full attachments for the rear as well. I like that that continues the whole way. I do like how that looks. That's really nice. I think we're going to go for that one. But we also have the hot wing pilot wing or the hot ring pilot wing. It, my W's and R's whenever I try to record a video are just absolutely terrible. Hot ring pilot wing. And, uh, well, well, it's huge. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. So actually what I might do is I might go for the hot ring pilot wing for the first one. And then the second one I'm going to make it exactly as I would have it in real life. Or as much as uh, I would like it in real life. So I'm going to go for the hot wing pilot wing. Hot ring pilot wing. Moving on to the front then. We have the stock front bumper. Then we have the bulbous splitter. Which has this massive huge attachment to the bottom. And also gets rid of the front number plate there. Just a huge splitter. Again, bulbous pretty much just describes the rest of the car as well when you look at these arches. So uh, it all fits, really. It's quite a chunky car. Then we have the bulbous scraper, which just has this little carbon fiber lip down the bottom. Just makes it even lower again. And then we have the racer version, which is the same as the scraper, but it has these metal rods attaching to the splitter. Then onto the buffalo bumper. Now this looks very similar to the original, but you might notice a bit of a difference. And that is... That, well, it doesn't have a front number plate, but also it has no fog lights, but it's not like this one. This one just got rid of the fog lights and just put a grill in the circle. This one has actually completely changed the shape of the grill and matched it to the bit in the middle. I really like how this looks. That is a cool look. I like that as sort of like a, well, you know, like an uprated gauntlet thing. And I like the fact that we don't just have the huge bulbous things. We could just go for a simple bumper upgrade if we wanted. So that's really good. I'm a big fan of that. And then we have the splitter version of the Buffalo Bumper. Then we have the Scraper version. And then we're going to have the Racer version. So it seems we've gone for the Racer Wing. I might go for the Racer Buffalo Racer thing. Yeah, shall I? You see, if I go for that or the Bulbous. Now, do you know, I'm actually I'm going to go for the Bulbous because I prefer the look of the Buffalo. I think I might go for that in my second build. So we'll go for the Bulbous Racer for this first one. Then on the rear bumper... All we have is the carbon diffuser, which has this huge <laughs> carbon diffuser to the bottom. This thing is absolutely huge and bulbous. Again, there we go. Let's have another comparison before and after. Insanity. And also uh, cuts off the bottom of the number plate there, which is an interesting touch. On the skirts, we have a lot of options again. We have the street skirt. We have, if I just go around for a better view, let's get it from here. Then we have the carbon skirt. Then we have the bulbous smooth skirt, which matches with the arches as well, as you can see there. Then we have the bulbous rustic skirt, which adds what exactly? Is this just like black matte, I think? I think it just changes the color for matte black, I think. Then we have the bolt-on skirt, which just has the same thing, but you can see it's got a little bit of a bolt-on thing. Let's just try and get a zoom on there. You can see right there. Look at the detail. It's pretty cool. And then we have the bolt on rustic skirt. All these different combinations. I'm going to go for the bulbous smooth skirt, I think. I'm not sure if any of these ones are going to be a bit more racery, but yeah, it seems we've gone for the bulbous front bumper. I guess we're going to go bulbous all around. Let's go for the bulbous smooth skirt. Then onto the exhausts. So we have the stock. Then we have the ceramic exhausts, titanium exhausts, and chrome exhausts. So actually, pretty much the same design, but you have just three different materials chrome titanium ceramic i quite like the look of the ceramic one because it makes it look a bit more subtle but this is supposed to be a racing car so let's just go for the big chrome exhausts on the grill then this is going to be interesting so we have the stock slat grill then we have the mesh grill very similar to this one but this one had like a chrome surround whereas this one actually doesn't have any chrome surrounds so that was another detail that i missed really because the original has chrome ah but this one didn't have chrome did it I know it didn't. It had chrome around the original grill, but not the lights. Interesting. So this one has a mesh grill, which also has this bar in the middle, so slightly different to the to this one right here. And actually, I would say a nicer looking grill texture as well. And then we have the VI badge grill, the uh, VI logo. V is that VI or six? I guess six star crew. Mind you, there's a six star crew badge there. Oh, I don't know. Are they different. Oh, I thought they're the same thing. Oh, I don't know. You got. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> So this is a six-star crew badge, and then we also have the hot ring grill, which adds that badge as well as the gauntlet one. It also has this little bit in the middle. 
That's a very interesting style, because that's very old school, but this is a very new school muscle car, so... I don't know, that's an interesting look, but as we've gone for the spoiler, and as we're going for the hot ring one, let's just go full hot ring first, and then I'll go back and I'll make one that I prefer the look of. So there's that one done, then we have the hood. So we have the stock T bulbing thing. You know, what is the word? Was this bulging? Bulge. I guess that's better than bulbous. Bulge. T bulge. T, T bulge. <laughs> then we have the snout hood. Then we have the snout vented hood, which also adds these vents to the top there. Then we have the Quaker hood. Then we have the single intake bug catcher and the triple intake bug catcher, of course. So because this is supposed to be a racer, I guess something like the Quaker hood would probably be the right choice. Let's go for the Quaker hood for that one. Then for the fenders, we can actually change the fenders. So we have the stock, then we have the bulbous rustic arches. Ah, see, that's how it's going to match with the skirts. Ah, see, I was thinking that, and of course we can change that. So we have the rustic, we have the bolt-on arches, and then we have the rustic bolt-on arches, which is basically just like the black plastic versions unpainted. Well, do you know what? I might go for the rustic arches purely because I want to see how they look. I'm not going to go for the bolt-on, actually, for this one. I just want to go for that, and I'm going to go for the skirts and then go for the rustic skirt to match. I'm very curious to see what sort of color schemes I can come up with that would match the black on the arches. So uh, we're going to go for that one. And then it's just a case of engine, brakes, transmission, suspension. Uh, oh, that's quite a big drop. So we have the stock, lowered, street, sport, and competition. Then, of course, we've got the paint I'll do in just a second. And let's see what extras we've got. There's no extras, of course. And we have our turbo. So I'll also give it a bit of a window tint. And mind you, it seems like it's meant to be a race car. Let's just actually keep that. Uh, maybe we'll go for a green. Seems it's supposed to be a, a race car. Let's go for green. Now, before we actually do the paint and the wheels, there are a few things in Benny's Lowrider mods. So, let's just go to trim. So, we have the sunstrip right there. I think that might actually... Do we have a livery? We do have livery. So, I'm going to go for the sunstrip just so we can see what livery stuff we have there. Then we have the arch covers. We have the headlight duct. Ah, see, now that is a little bit more like this. So, this one actually did try to look like the lights, whereas this one just blacks the whole thing out which is pretty cool. And then we have the frontal headlight duct, which completely gets rid of all the headlight things and, you know, doesn't have any scoop or anything like that. It's just the grill. Well, I don't know. I really like the look of that, that headlight duct right there. But I might go for the frontal headlight duct because, I don't know, I feel like that's a bit more racery and raw. So let's just go for that one. Then on the aerials, we have the chrome hood catches. Actually, not aerials at all. These are just the uh, hood catches. Or we have the straight ones. As this is racing, I guess, like, I presume the plastic ones are sturdier and stronger. So maybe they would go for the plastic ones. So I'm just going to go for the straight hook catches on that one. And then we have, whoa, uh, actually a huge selection of livery. So we have the Hell Panther, which going by that name looks like it's supposed to be about Black Panther YouTuber. And also Hellcat? Hellcat Panther. Yeah, surely. Hellcat, Hell Panther. That's an interesting, that's a double, because that's Hellcat, Hellpanther, and also, like, Black Panther, Hellpanther. Interesting. Then we have the six-star drag. Ooh, these are nice. I like some of these, and also that color goes quite well with the arches as well. Then we have the Sick Street Crew. That one's pretty nice as well. And also you can see the artist that's made this as well in the name. Uh, so that's actually pretty nice. Then we have the Bigness. What one does this change? Can't see much. I think I might have to go for a, a slightly brighter color because I don't think we can see some of these because they're a little bit dark. Let me just go ahead and change the color to something a little bit lighter. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now we can see with the silver and you can see excessive prices. Big. Right, what else do we have on the back? Just nothing around there. It's just the bigness on the doors. Pretty interesting. And also it makes the uh, sunstrip gray as well or dark gray. Then we have the classic gauntlet, just nice retro style there. Then we have the concept stripe. Ooh, that's a curious one. It almost looks like a like a Japanese police car in a way, but sort of not. And then we have the disruption logistics one. Interesting. Again, we've also got some fake brands down the bottom there. Alien, Hard Stand, Chappelle, Cronus. There we go. Uh, I believe they are, unless they are reference to something else. Not too sure. Uh, but there we go. Then we also have, what does this say? Limited gasoline. Got a few little stickers around there. Alien on the front as well. Then we have X-Flow. As you can see here, it's got X-Flow. It's got the uh, Six Star Crew badge. We've got some uh, Bipu Vinewood shot. Yeah, of course, these are supposed to be fake brands as well. We've also got a uh, legendary motorsport there on the back. Whoa, this actually has a solid black back. 
That's interesting. That is very interesting as a color scheme. Then we have the Hyman Hot Wing. Ooh, and I did actually just say Hot Wing again. Hot Ring. Well, probably I'm just thinking of fried chicken. That was pretty cool. I like that globe oil. That's pretty nice. Maybe we can find a nice color to go with that one. Also, it says Gauntlet on the Sunstrip as well. Then we have the Mimax Geometric. Ooh. That, I reckon that might be quite cool if we go for a nice bright color with that one. Actually, that looks like a really nice race car uh, paint scheme. Then we have the Six Star Crew. Very simple. Six Star Crew banner. Got a black roof. Imagine if Rockstar Games gives lives to Tuners and Outlaws. Of course, this is supposed to be from the Tuners and Outlaws fake DLC that GTA Wise Guy is working on. Which, seriously, Rockstar, you, you, what, why have you not made this? Why have you not even hired this guy? <laughs> These are amazing builds. And then we had the Bravado Power. Ooh, got the nice Bravado badges and the stripes. That does actually look like some sort of dealer option as well. That's pretty cool. And then we have the BP Inverted right there. Just a different version of the Bravado Power without all the red. That is very nice. I think I might actually go for the MindMax Geometric on this first one. Because I want to see what that looks like when we go for a nice better color. Okay, so let's just go for a nice, let's go for a metallic and just start with red. Oh, see now, look at that. Straight away, you can see the design popping through with that really nice red. It's actually very similar to the color that we have on that stock gauntlet. But that looks really nice. Let's go for a few more colors and see if there's something better. So actually, all of these colors make this look really nice, I've got to say. Okay, so I've gone for all the different colors, and I really just love that red. It's just that red with a bit of the orange. I mean, the Torino red's also really nice as well. Actually, I think I'll go with the Torino red, and I'll probably just get a little bit of a flip going on with the pearlescent. Maybe I can find just a nice orange or a brown or something to go with it. And just like that dark copper, it's probably enough. Something like that, just a brighter red with a bit of a copper flip. That looks really nice. And it really goes well with the black arches as well because we've got all the black things going on with the livery. I think that really works. Now, when it comes to the wheels, you're not, I, I don't think the rest of the wheels are going to look right. So let's just go and pick like a random sports, chrome. What have we got in here? They, they look a bit lost. Let's be honest, the best set of wheels is going to have to be the stock set of wheels for that one. So that means that that is pretty much done. So let's go ahead and go for a quick drive and leave those other cars behind. And there we are. So this thing is actually really quick. It's got all custom handling as with all other cars that is made by GTA Wise Guy. All of this stuff is for the Tuners and Outlaws DLC, the fake DLC. There is no real Tuners and Outlaws DLC, sadly, because actually it's a really really good DLC idea and I really think Rockstar should just like take some inspiration and start making this sort of stuff for GT Online although I, I try to think how much this would probably sell for but this is awesome this this is the sort of stuff that should really just be in the oh oh dear in the standard game of GTA it is really just high quality it is easy something that you would think yeah Rockstar would have made this you wouldn't look at this and you know think it was poor quality in any sense this is high quality work absolutely amazing stuff so let's actually just park down here and i'm going to spawn in another one and i'm going to build in my one that i would like to have in real life okay so before i spawn in the next one i completely forgot to show under the bonnet and in the boot so in the boot i mean how does that even open is that hang on let's just see if that actually opens and closes because that looks like it's oh yeah it does actually clip through <laughs> Yeah, okay, but in the boot, it's pretty simple. It's a boot. And then on the front, this does actually have a full custom 3D engine. Get a load of that. It's also got the Fukaro thing, which I think might be part of the livery. So it looks like that actually does stick out of the bonnet. I didn't think of that before. It sticks out of the bonnet. Oh, wait, hang on. We're going to have to see this. So now let's just get a custom set. I just want to see on these bonnets because that is attached to... Oh! Oh, would you look at that? That is amazing. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought it was just part of the bonnet, but it does actually make a full cutout with that actually completely different addition. On the front, it adds a supercharger as well. as the same as, Well, I guess it's the same as the buck hatches. That is awesome. Yeah, that Quaker hood is amazing. I really like that. I like how that all works. It's attached to the uh, engine and the supercharger. That is cool. Okay, so here we are with our stock gauntlet. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to speed through and try and make the one that I would like to have in real life. So on the trim, I'm not going to go for the sunstrip for this one. I'm going to go for the headlight duct version, not the full frontal headlight thing that gets rid of it. I like those little scoops in there. That's pretty cool looking. Then on the aerial things, all the hood catches, I might actually just go for a nice chrome hood catch. 
why not? A bit of an ode to old school. Seems in this is sort of like a modern take on an old school muscle car design. And then for the liveries, I'm thinking of actually just keeping it stock. I think I think stock is best. I'm just going to try and find a nice color to go with it. So on the spoiler, I want to go for the bulbous ducktail because I think that one just looks really cool. I'm a huge fan of ducktails. On the rear bumper, I'm actually not going to go for the carbon diffuser because I've got a bit of an idea and I don't want to go too crazy with this one. So I'm going to go without it. Then on the skirts, I'm going to go for the nice simple street skirt or perhaps the carbon version of it. Again, I don't want to go too much down because there is actually nothing sort of in between. There is only the sort of major diffuser. So I didn't want to have too much bodywork close to the ground because I wanted to get a bit of a slam on this one. Or at least try because these wheels are pretty big. So uh, for now, I'm going to go for the carbon skirt. On the exhaust, I'm going to go for the ceramic as I like how understated they look. On the front, I might just go for now with the buffalo bumper because I think there is no... I mean, this is really big and huge, but I didn't really want to go huge. I wanted to try out just like, sort of like the understated with a little bit of tuning going on. Uh, it might not work because these wheels are pretty big, but for now, let's just give it a try. On the grill, I'm just going to go for the simple mesh grill. On the hood, I'm going to go for the snout vented, or actually maybe just the snout. Let's just go for the snout, just nice and simple. Now, as for the fenders, because we can't get rid of them, I'm starting to think that maybe this idea is not going to work just using these stock bumpers, but I want to try the bolt-ons. It might be a bit too much. We'll see. Okay, so I'm thinking of going on. I know some of you guys get annoyed with the whole worn thing, but as this is old school, I like having the O to it with the sort of satin paint. So I'm going to go for a nice satin orange. Oh, we've got taxi yellow. Might be a bit too bright. I think taxi orange is the way to go. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to do this, but because we have menus mod, I can also change the colors of the wheels. So I think we should go for something nice and dark like anthracite black as default. He is a little bright, so I think a nice darkening is uh, going to look good. Now, this is why I'm going to risk it, because I'm going to go and hit it with V-Stancer, because I'm very curious to see what would happen if we make this, I guess, just very show car-esque. Um, again, this is probably uh, veering away from what I would do personally with this car, but I'm very curious to see how this is going to look. So, let's just go ahead and slam this down. Because we've got these arches to sort of take some of the bulk of these wheels once we get a bit, a bit of camber. Ooh, yeah, this is an interesting look, I've got to admit. But, of course, I wanted to see how low we can get without having those big, massive bumpers on it. Yeah, it's sort of working. So let's just go ahead on the rear. Let's go ahead and slam that down as much as we can to about there. Camber. It's an interesting look. I'll, I'll say that much. It's an interesting look. Maybe we'll just go a little bit higher on the front to get rid of that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think you guys might have to let me know what you think about that slamming because I think that's just a little bit too far. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and just rise this back up to about there. Get the track width going. Let's just get this flush. I mean, we've got a bit of camber going, so we can have that flush like that. that I mean, that's at least a bit stanced, but yeah, I'm sure you guys are already annoyed with me. <laughs> yeah, these builds aren't really turning out as you guys probably expected. Uh, actually, I'm going to be honest... Not really how I expected either, but I just really wanted to see what it would be like if I didn't have those big, massive bumpers. And then to get it matching on the front, we do actually have to have the front just a little bit higher. So, do you know what? I'm going to go all out and go with the big everything. So, I'm going to go for the Buffalo Scraper, which is actually a different color. That's going to have to be the secondary, I think. We have the Carbon Diffuser, and I'm going to go for the Bulbous Bolt-On Skirts as well. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, I think that's secondary color we're going to have to change there. Now, I was thinking of having that as black, but uh, I'm not really feeling it. I'm just going to go all in. Uh, there we go. But let's just go ahead and just knock this back up. And I still get, I mean, is there a little bit of camber? I think there's a tiny bit of camber there. That'll be enough. I don't want it to go crazy. And then we'll also lift it up on the front to about there. So I've got a bit of camber. It's about right. It's, it's okay. I think that one is it. That's all we're going to do for this one. And there we go, there is our second gauntlet. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. If it's this one or the first one I made, maybe you would make yours different. Maybe you've actually downloaded this mod and you've made your own. You can go ahead and check me out on Twitter at figure eight links for my Twitter in the description as always. And you can tweet me pictures of your build. I'll be interested to see what you guys have done. But that is it for this video. This is an awesome mod. Again, typical high quality of GTA Wise Guys stuff. Absolutely amazing. You've done a brilliant job as always. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!